so I had COVID all last month. You could probably hear it in my voice. Feel sorry for me. I dare you. <coughs> you can't catch it through the screen. That's next year's variant. But I had nothing else better to do than to endlessly pour over all of the marketing materials, commercials, web pages, and any information that Apple put out about this because I knew I was going to want to review it. Either way, I don't have an Apple Vision Pro, so let's buy it. And with that, I set out to spend all the money I'd saved during my year off of making videos. A small price to pay for the money I got not doing anything. So I scanned my face and sent all of my personal biometric data to Apple so they could use it against me in the future, whether it's to fit me for an Apple Vision or to clone me. I didn't care. Personally, I love investing in a first-gen product from a company that has so much money they could probably give one of these away for free to everyone in the entire world and somehow still be a profitable company. And just as I was about to pay my annual wages to Apple. Wait, how is that possible? It hasn't even come out yet. He must have gotten it before everyone. He's special. But I thought I was special too. And then it hit me. The award that I got just a year ago wasn't for best product reviewer, it was for best worst product reviewer. I should just stay in my lane. Only review cheap Chinese products and toenails. What? That's the thumbnail I was gonna use for this video. But I decided to not let that stop me. A little competition is healthy for the spirit. Come on, leave some for someone else. They have it too. It seemed like everyone on the planet was quicker to the draw than I was. Even Linus uploaded before me, but it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna let anything stand in my way. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Small. Never been accused of having a small head, physically or metaphorically. So on the day of my appointment, I went to go pick up the guys because they're fellow tech lovers, or so I thought. <laughs> and after Jay Fred remembered how to use a door handle, we picked up Brian and we were off. But before we headed into the store... So what are your expectations? I've seen two questions. videos. Marquez, he didn't say anything about games. There are games on it but they're just iPhone games. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'm disappointed. But <laughs> Can you take me back home? <laughs> this isn't worth it, dude. <laughs> they're coming out with the F1 app. Left That's the one that I'm excited yeah. for. F1. Yeah. Sadly, I didn't have the heart to tell Brian in that moment that the F1 app that he saw across social media and was getting excited about was just a concept. But that, that can't be the only thing that he was excited about. That's about it. With both brothers now disappointed, we headed into the Apple store with Joey already questioning the very existence of the product. So wait, what is the point of the vision? But I sidestepped that silly question. I hit the Apple employee with a hard question like a good tech journalist does. I saw it and it looked like it had a small and I don't have a small head. Oh, you got measured for a small. No way. Is that the first time anybody told you have a small head? Brian continued to tease me about my pinhead until both me and the Apple employee were thoroughly embarrassed. Oh, thank goodness the tension was broken by an Apple employee serving me a Vision Pro as if it was the finest of steak dinners. So I tried it on, one of 28 possible sizes, and then I said these really stupid words. Yeah, I mean, that fits. Wow, people really must have a big head. I'm not really sure what happened here. I think I was just so distracted by my tiny head and how the band fit in it that I didn't really pay attention to how it sat on my face. And this will bite me later. Here we go. That's a huge box. <laughs> I didn't realize how scared I looked in this shop, but I looked genuinely scared about the size of this box. I'm a huge target going to my car with this thing. <laughs> I got my bodyguard right here. That's why you're paying us the big buck. That's the only reason why you're here. Actually, once we get to the car, you can take a hike. Just walk. I'll rob you then. <laughs> when they brought up my order, I also opted to buy the carrying case that it surprisingly doesn't come with for a $4,000 device. But before you freak out and say that I wasted $200 on this case, it also doubles as a pillow. So yeah. And they rang me up a small fortune for a product designed to help me avoid reality, and we were back to the studio to unbox it. Ugh. The internet has seen far too many of these unboxings, so we'll only give you the good stuff. What's the good stuff? I don't know, make a joke. Legend has it to this day, he's still thinking of a joke for this moment. Wow. Apple Vision? Why do they call it Apple Vision when you're blocking your eyes? <laughs> or at least a better joke. I like this little, this little, uh... Sock? Feels like a sock. That, <laughs> feels like a sock that Grandma made. I'll just play with these. That's all I can afford. <laughs> I got a family. I am sized W plus. Wide plus. 
Must be. But you have a small head. Wow, that's a thick piece of cardboard, dude. This is what you can afford. <laughs> right when I got into it, it was definitely a different experience. It feels like I'm looking through an iPhone camera. With the new smell of tech, the guys had totally forgot it how... Forgot it. <laughs> Forgot it. What was I saying? With the smell of new tech in the air, the guys totally forgot about their initial disappointment. It's super sharp, bro. It's so sharp. <laughs> so I spent the next five minutes or so setting it up. Yeah, okay, she's asking me to flick. You can keep your that sounds so weird. What? <laughs> hey, flick. Press the digital crown to set up your eyes and hands. My hands and eyes are set up, bro. I came. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with those. I was born. Set I've been up. using those for 34 years. After once again giving my face data to Apple, it was time to actually experience it for the first time. Years oh, ago. that's weird, bro. What? <laughs> Dude, okay, this is gonna be really weird for okay, you, honestly, though, but you're gonna put it on and you're gonna see me as you. It made my persona. And it's making me look like you? It's gonna think you're me, so it- Oh, because we're too similar? No, 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 just because you're me. <laughs> I am? Oh, hey. <laughs> Dude, that's trip. So it doesn't know that whoever's wearing the mask isn't the person who made the persona. Okay, I'm saving. Optic ID. Apple Vision Pro can recognize the unique aspects of your iris to allow secure access to features. See, dude, this is Apple's plan. They have your fingerprint now. So this is where J. Fred turns into the crazy uncle. So we're just gonna skip past this. That's not how it works. It's it's yes. stored on device. Yeah, sure, that's what they or say. They but then again, I did send my face data to Apple so that they could fit my mask. And they also already have my personal banking information. And I'm not a dev, so I don't know if they are storing everything that they say they're storing on device. So really, they could clone me if they wanted to. This is really cool. I'm in Yosemite. Bro, if you really want a good experience, just take a look at me. Take a look at me and pinch all you want. <laughs> <laughs> so I took it off after wearing it for only about 10 minutes and look at that. What, you can't see it? Hold on. Hey Siri, increase saturation a million percent. There you go. Yeah, that's gonna come up later. Dude, that is a trip. It really does look like I'm looking. <laughs> VR really tends to bring out the worst in men. <laughs> I'm trying to put in the code. This was all fun and dandy, but let's get to the real stuff, the meat and bones of this whole review. Let's start looking at the claims that Apple makes in their Vision Pro introduction video. Introducing Apple Vision Pro. The era of spatial computing is here. Cool, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Moving on. Apple's first ever spatial operating system. It's familiar, yet groundbreaking. Apple usually has style, I'll give them that. But this burlap sack is giving me mixed messages. Honestly, it's a really strange target demographic for a $4,000 product. Oh man, luck will pick up for you soon, bro. I'll have you know this is couture. Broke and delusional? It's not a good look. Broke? <laughs> I'm gonna buy an Apple Vision. You look sickly. Let's just start you off with an Apple. I had COVID! So on the Vision Pro, Apple has included an outward facing display they call EyeSight. This allows everyone not wearing your Vision Pro to know if you're immersed in content or if you're actually looking at them and aware of the outside world. You can see that her eye placement changes dynamically based on the viewing angle of the camera. The idea of this is to make your eyes look like they're actually on your face and not on the display three inches from your face. Well, guys, what do you think? You're not allowed to join our club, bro. What about now? What? No. Now? It's not gonna happen. Now? Technically, it's an Apple Vision. Now. Okay, fine. You're in. Nice. Let's see if we can get the eyes to even show. They're a little timid, you could say. If the outside display works anything like an iPhone display, then there's probably ambient light sensors somewhere around in the sensor array. So if we darken the room, and then we focus some light right on that ambient light sensor. Nothing. Theory failed. But wait. But wait. <laughs> I'm actually looking at a mirror. The eyes will only show up when there's a person in front of you. So let's do a test. If I move my face, do the eyes track and look like they stay on my face? They kind of do, which is kind of crazy. So I'm gonna look around now but they don't look real. <laughs> While it kind of works, it doesn't look real or serve its purpose, so I'm giving this claim a nope. Apple Vision Pro is Apple's first ever 3D camera. You can capture photos and videos with remarkable depth and relive a memory 
as if you're right back in the exact moment. This is the feature that I'm most excited for. This long panning shot is truly remarkable depth. I'll give them that. And that's exactly what I want, Apple. And I don't see why I shouldn't have that since you put it in the commercial. So I went out and got some spatial video of my kids playing in the rain. It was a beautiful memory for sure. Just splash in the puddle. So I took the spatial video with my iPhone. Interestingly enough, does not take spatial photos. Only the Vision Pro can do that, which is odd. Let's get into it. Let's open up my photos. Let's put that puppy right up against the wall. It's really small. I can't, I can't resize it. This is the cinematic video and I can resize it. Wow, that I feel like is way more immersive. Okay, let's go back to the spatial video. Wait, there's this button. Okay, here we go. It didn't seem to make it any bigger. I wonder why they do that. I wonder if it's just because they're like, you're gonna get dizzy, yo, if you if you try to really immerse yourself in this because it's just not at all that big. But the question is, can we do the panning shot? Let's pretend my head is the camera <laughs> and I'm just moving through. And I wanna get that crazy immersive depth. No, no, <laughs> no. Look, look at the edge, it just blurs out. I can't actually see through into a window of time. Hold on, let's go, let's go out of immersive mode so we have the frames here. You can kind of see how they do it. They just kind of like put the actual video a little farther back and then they just blur the edges. Which Apple is not what you showed in your commercial. Don't set my expectations up so high and then do the opposite of that. Tell me it's gonna look like this and then deliver the other thing. <laughs> so is it truly immersive depth? Mm -mm. So it turns out that's fantastic marketing of tech that's been around for 185 years. You heard that right, 185 years of stereoscopic 3D viewing experiences. <laughs> I was hoping that they were gonna be using the depth sensors and mapping all the texture from the image sensors onto the depth map and so that you could experience it with like, you know, that panning nature, because the iPhone can actually do that right now, but when you actually see how it works, you understand why I suppose they didn't go that route. <laughs> Experiences on Vision Pro can also expand in three dimensions, like in the mindfulness app, where you can create a moment of calm. Can you meditate with the Apple Vision? How hard can it be? <laughs> you just grab some floor and breathe, right? Right. So I sat there and, well, breathed in and out, in and out. Chances are you know how that works. Following the rhythm of the ball, but halfway through, it just kind of exploded and quite literally left me breathless. All right, no, I just lost my breathing pattern. It's amazing how much this thing made me forget how to do something I feel like I didn't even need help with in the first place. So meditating with this thing just feels so pointless. I don't know a single person that does breathing exercises with their eyes open, let alone meditation. I feel like having your eyes shut is almost like a mandatory part of the process, but to be looking through this and then to have the instinct to just shut your eyes constantly and then all that's left is just this dead weight on your face that actually hurts, there's a disconnect here for sure. And not only that, I feel like the sole reason why I meditate is to relieve the stress from staring at screens. I'm honestly gonna say this claim is a no. I, I don't think you should meditate in this thing. Vision Pro is a wonderful way to play your favorite games. Heck yeah, dude, my favorite games. Oh yeah, dude, my favorite games, man. My favorite games, you know, like Modern Warfare, Spider-Man, dude. The Phantom Menace. I will survive. Yeah, that one. Although now I'm curious how they know what games are my favorite. Where would they get access to that information? Unless they think that my favorite games are all on iOS. So I immediately set off to the App Store to hunt for any of these games. Obviously they weren't on the App Store. So I dug deeper, not a secret could hide from me. Xbox Remote Play? No. 
Xbox Cloud Live Streaming? Nada. PlayStation Remote Play? Nine. But I'm a gamer and gamers never give up on gaming. And then I found Mirror Play for iPad that gave me a jolt of excitement. I tell you, it wasn't easy. Technical problem after technical problem. What? You son of a gun, dude. But I'm not just a gamer. I'm a hacker, and I always find a way in. Maybe I... Maybe I signed in with the wrong account. Are we doing it? Huh? A bit of tinkering, huh? and then something I fully didn't expect to work did. <laughs> I, I'm actually playing. Can I... Whoa! We're moments away from this working, y'all. If this works, Apple's claim is valid. Oh, oh, I lost some frames there. <laughs> PS5 works. But that's not the only system I'm gonna test. Oh, <laughs> this is a weird experience. All right, sure. No, not what I clicked. Yo, I think this is gonna work too. I was super skeptical. I can hear my PC kicking on in the background. Press any key to start. <laughs> you know what, forget the controller. Let's see if I could be a wizard with just my hands. Honestly, already am, but I mean in the game. After I lived out my wildest fantasies of finger magic, it's time to rate the claim. So I will say, you can make it work if you really want to. And for that reason, I'll say the claim is a dope. Okay, so Surfer Boy here is in the kitchen, texting his friends, making a keynote. Grade A human behavior, very authentic. I always make all my keynotes in the kitchen. Toast. Mm. Okay, now it makes sense. We're not just in the kitchen for no reason. We're making a keynote, we're texting our friends, and we're also making lunch on the Vision Pro. We're gonna have to test that claim. I'm feeling pretty good about this, so let's get into it. So I open up Keynote, select a motorcycle presentation because he chose surfboard. Connect a keyboard, Paramagic keyboard or trackpad to make quick edits. I wanna do this the hard way. So I try to cheat my way to the end of this, and honestly, I think Siri plays me. Hey Siri, can you edit my document for me? What, why is that so tiny and small? No, close, close that, close, close that. So double tap to edit the most important presentation. What? I, I pressed that. The most important presentation a man can make. I can't do it with a knife in my hand. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Made by Matthias. And just when I think I have it figured out. I think this is actually working, guys. <laughs> Here's the motorcycle we're talking about, and it's beautiful, don't you think? See, the problem is Siri isn't intelligent enough to know when I'm talking to her and when I'm not talking to her, and I'm not intelligent enough to know when she's listening. Oh, there's some peanut butter in there. It's goopy. <laughs> Shut up! Stop listening to me! Only listen to me when I want to be listened to. Bullet points about the world's best motorcycle. I've also found that anything slightly resembling a finger in your hand utterly disables the Vision Pro. Okay, it does not like this skin-colored knife, that's for sure. Bullet point number one. <laughs> I should have said that. What? <laughs> what just happened? Did I pin something? <laughs> While I wish I would have because it would have been less painful than this, I still did not give up. Last slide. I also noticed that I can't do two things at once, and when I'm figuring out what to say, I'm literally just doing that, figuring out what to say. I'm not touching the sandwich, but when I finally figure it out, it's worth the wait. Motorcycles. <laughs> Seriously, that took me a minute to come up with. I wish I would have given birth to a motorcycle and not the son I was given. L, okay. I guess L said that. And with that, I was finally done. Come and get it. Toast. <laughs> what? What is this? 
Go away! That was probably the most painful computing experience I've had in the last decade, and it really made me feel like I'm an old man yelling at clouds. So I'm gonna give this claim a no. Now the easiest of all the claims to test. Hard to believe this is my job. This was the one that I was most excited for, for obvious reasons. So I opened up my favorite environment from Disney Plus, which is pretty sick, and I watched a Star Wars movie. Or at least I tried to, because there was a pretty major problem. Ugh. My face hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it hurt so bad that I had to take breaks about every 20 minutes, like 20 minutes on, one minute off to rest my face. And when I wasn't doing that, I was actually laying down and pushing the display forward with my fingers just to release all the pressure. It's like someone has the edge of a shovel just jutting into your cheekbones. I will say the Vision Pro is great for trapping and hiding the tears that it seems to create by wearing it. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Matthias, you were using the wrong band. You should have used the dual loop band, the one that goes over your head to release all that pressure. Yeah, no, this is where my experience seemingly differs from almost everyone else's on the planet, or at least all the reviews I'm seeing. This stylish band is actually significantly more comfortable for me. I was like, there's no way that, for instance, MKBHD is wrong. I respect the heck out of him. And he said, the dual loop band is more comfortable. So I tried and I tried to put it on my face and just pain after pain and I had to swap it back and ultimately I came to the conclusion that we have different faces. And oh, how I longed for his face shape. I'm just wondering if maybe when I mapped my face, it just got it wrong. I'm definitely hoping third party accessories make this more comfortable to wear and it could possibly be that because of COVID, my sinuses are inflamed. Either way, that's my experience right now and I'm gonna have to give this claim a note, sadly. I know it's a small claim, but catching popcorn in your mouth actually has some crazy big implications because I know a lot of people that cannot catch food in their mouth even without an iPad strapped to their face. So, so I've popped some popcorn. How many will it take until I catch it in my mouth? I will be here all day if I have to, I will pop 10 more bags if I have to. This one's odd to me. There's a woman on a FaceTime call, but before she was on the FaceTime call, she was just packing. She just happened to be packing with the Vision Pro on. <laughs> no apps open, just packing. If you take these ads at face value, they all seem pretty normal, but if you look closer for even just a second, Everyone's a bot. In what world am I wearing the Vision Pro around the house with no apps open, just doing physical chores? <laughs> I guess in this world, because we're about to do it. Oh, hey, we're in my closet. Why? Maybe I just wanted a opportunity to show you my briefs. Or maybe Apple thinks we're gonna pack with the Apple Vision on. So let's get it done. Packing is already such an arduous task for me that trying to do it with the Vision Pro on just annoyed me more than it should have. I mean, the most exciting thing that happened in this entire scene was that my light died, and when I went to go charge it, a window that I'd opened hours before just popped out of nowhere and startled me, and enough for me to forget that I'd already introed this segment. Hey, why are we in the closet? I wish I would have finished that line because now there's gonna be speculation for ages, but I finished packing up and I was on my way. And it turns out, you can pack. I don't know why I would, but... So then, is the Apple Vision itself a dope or a nope? It's not that simple. Okay, it's that simple, but let me complicate it for a second to make my point. The tech in this thing is wildly cool, designed with the utmost precision. They released a video a while back of the making of the Vision Pro, but I want to know how the people designed and made the machines that make the Vision Pro. And then I'm going to want to know how they designed the machines that make the machines that make the Vision Pro. So I'm gonna have to just let this go and move on. The spatial tracking and the world awareness of the Vision Pro is far crazier and cooler than anyone 
gives it credit for. For instance, Judner from Your Average Consumer wore it all day, and before going into a restaurant, he left a window open, and when he came out after eating, he literally, dude literally thought something was in the sky, but it was just a window that he had left open as if he's some dirtbag on the freeway throwing trash out of his window. <laughs> this is gonna be a crazy movement when college campuses learn of this. Stop virtual you know. littering. Looks Stop done, virtual littering. I mean, the high resolution display, the real time pass through on the meta quest, it's dangerous to make any side comments to my wife. But now with this thing, it's just a quick dodge, man. But the truth is there are some really serious limitations of using this thing. For instance, the narrow field of view, it's like wearing blinders and Apple hasn't even published the field of view on their website. And it's not like they don't know. That would be funny if they didn't though. Hey boss, should we measure the field of view on this thing? You know, put it on the website? No. Let's say it's like nothing else out there. I get it. We're still technically telling the truth because it's more narrow than everything else. Just shut up and do it. The thing is heavy and painful to wear for anything longer than a half hour. And if you wear it for longer than a half hour, everyone's going to know you were in a Vision Pro. It's like hat hair, but for your face. I'm gonna, I'm gonna coin this vision face. And there's this strange duality to the Vision Pro. It's this double-mindedness of this hyper immersion and yet still trying to be fully present in the real world by displaying the eyes. Even if we fast forward decades where all this technology can fit inside contact lenses that you can put in your eyes, you're still gonna go out into the world and look like a bot. And worst of all, it doesn't really seem to solve any problem in any meaningful way. It's quite literally the worst at everything it tries to be, but it's still so cool to experience because you know where this is all going. It's a really interesting look at augmented reality, if that's what we're gonna call it, because Apple doesn't even wanna call it that. They wanna call it spatial computing. So it can't really be compared to the meta, and it really shouldn't be compared to VR in any way. And to be honest, the Vision Pro isn't even what Apple's trying to sell you. They're trying to sell you a vision of computing in the future. But that future, it's just not here yet. Bro, sit down.